Hello traders, this is Elizabeth Bilugira and you are watching daily stock market review by Tradimo for March 27th. The market sentiment is rather changeable. Yesterday traders were optimistic. Today they are back to worries about global economic outlook. However, we can see that uh, for now S&P 500 kind of lacks motion. It is trading around 28. 20 support uh, stands at 2800 while the major resistance is located around 2870 area the market is clearly awaiting some drivers some news from uh, the brexit deal uh, some news from the negotiations between the united states and china which by the way resume on thursday and um trade talks between the US and China kind of act as a positive thing now as both nations seem committed to reaching an agreement. However, uh, the deal is not expected until the middle of April, so probably we won't get the big driver from here in the upcoming sessions. So a sideways market looks like here to stay for some time. Another topics which are um, important for the market are Brexit votes, which are uh, scheduled today in the UK Parliament. And uh, also the ECB President Mario Draghi said that he was concerned with negative interest rates. Certainly this is also a worrying thing for the markets. We can see that American uh, Treasury yields keep increasing, a sign that traders are worried about the future and the potential recession, which um, is now the main fear of traders after US yield curve inverted. And um, the decline in Treasury yields is surely acting as a ceiling for the stock market. It will prevent um, S&P 500 from um, rapid increase and cap it on the upside. If we come to individual stock, uh, we will need to talk about Apple. The company, um, it turned out, infringed a Qualcomm patent according to the judge. And as a result, some older imported iPhones uh, should be blocked from the United States. However, uh, the U.S. International Trade Commission invalidated a separate Qualcomm patent for a battery saving feature. And as a result, we get the situation where the two companies are kind of quarreling between each other and each of them got something positive today. So uh, the situation looks mixed. However, all in all, um, it doesn't seem like a big problem for Apple in the long term, so the company stock should survive the news pretty easily. Uh, the situation here changed a bit uh, from yesterday. Um, we see that um, Apple declined to support around 187 mark. Uh, the Fibonacci level and it keeps uh, the prices from now from a deeper correction to the downside that would be to 176 mark. On the upside resistance is provided by 200 day moving average around 190 and uh, the recent highs around 198 mark. There was some news from McDonald's as the company is acquiring a technological company that will help it to improve digital menus. This is a sign that McDonald's is developing rather uh, rapidly and dynamically. The stock is now testing resistance uh, of the triangle within which it has been consolidating since November. And it clearly needs to overcome resistance around 190, 191 in order to resume the bigger uptrend and um, head towards higher targets around 200. In the meantime, uh, for now, we see that resistance is still acting and uh, pullbacks towards support around 186 and 180. 83 are possible here. 
And finally, there was a piece of news that health insurer Centen Corp plans to purchase a managed care provider Velcare. And the latter had a bullish gap today. But although we see that the overall dynamics on the daily chart is um, sideways here, so the gap may be closed. This is all for today. Thank you for your attention and subscribe to Tradimo YouTube channel.